Father, we pray that, Lord, that this night you will do something spectacular, something great, something mighty, something wonderful, something unforgettable in every one of our lives tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we give you all the praises because we know you have answered. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Brother, I want to say that um, I'm not impressed the way we constantly uh, mute ourselves. Uh, honestly speaking, it's very discouraging. Let, let's tell ourselves the truth. I On Thursday, the same thing happened. And it's not a good one. I only listen to myself. I can't hear others. It's not a good one. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Let's unmute ourselves and pray, please. This is the hour of prayer, except you have somewhere that is uncomfortable. Minus that, it means that we are not in agreement. That's what it means. Please, let us unmute ourselves so that we can pray. I want to hear us praying, brethren. I want to hear everybody praying. Please, the Lord will give us understanding. Amen. By the grace of God, we want to approach the throne of grace. We want to thank the Lord who has given us the privilege to come together once again. We want to thank God because of what God has proposed to do in our life. In fact, what he has started doing in our soul and in our spirit right from the beginning of the day. We want to give all the praises unto him. Please, shall we open our mouth and begin to appreciate God? Let's Father, lift up we our worship, we pray, unto we him and begin to say, Father, thank you. Your goodness, Let's give him all the praise to tonight. Us. Let's appreciate well, God because of the excellence of his power, for us. because of his might, and, and because of his this majesty. This time. Please open your mouth and give all the praises to God. Let's worship God. Let's praise the name of the Lord. Let's thank God because of everything the Lord has done in our lives. Father, we thank you for all that you have to appreciate God. Let's give all the glory. Father, thank you for all the honor. Let's give God all the honor, all the adoration. This time. Because of um, everything he has done, let's bless the name of the Lord from Lord. January to this July. God has been so faithful to us. Father, thank He's you for what you have to us, us, protected us, faithfulness. You know, look at the covenant of peace throughout from the beginning of this year to this time. The Father, covenant we have of, for all that of have eternal so life. Why don't you give him all the praises and say, Father, thank you once again. For the covenant of healing and health. Oh, God of heaven is worthy to be praised. Open your mouth and give all the praises to God. All these we are able to achieve them in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's worship God, Jesus Christ, our great high priest. Jesus Christ, the mediator between God and man. Jesus Christ, the one that reconciled man back to God. Jesus Christ, our redeemer, our savior. Open your mouth and begin to bless the name. Because of all our God is our God is gracious, our God is our God is loving and caring. Let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate God this night. We want to say, Father, thank you once again, O God. In Jesus' name, thank you for my wife. We are praying, my children. Amen. Father, we declare that we love. Oh, we declare an everlasting love for you. Father, we declare. Father, Father we, we declare that we that love, you love you. We declare, we declare an everlasting love for you. Father, we declare. Father, oh, yes. Father, we declare that we love, we love you. We declare, we declare an everlasting love for thee. Father, we declare, oh, Father, we declare that we love you. We declare an everlasting love for you. Oh Lord, 
and adoration. We want to thank God for our family, respective family, our individual family. We want to say, Father, thank you once again because either two you have helped us in this journey. Please, can you please join me and worship the Lord together. Let's open our mouth and begin to appreciate Father, God. Father, we worship you. Bless you. Give him all the praises. Open your mouth and bless him. I'm not so hearing us pray, brethren. Let us really pray with all our hands. Open your mouth and praise God. Let's give God all the praises. Let's appreciate God. I really pray with excitement at all. I mean, well, let's for everything you've been doing for us. My Lord, because of all these numerous and uncountable so blessings so to us, Father think God, about so what God, God has so done in your life, Lord. in your family, in the life of your we wife, your husband, Lord. in we the life glory, of your children. Honor, they you want to say, Father, Lord. thank you once again, oh God, we did not allow the devil to prevail Lord, over our soul Lord, all these years. He did not allow the powers of darkness to prevail over us. That's why we want to praise God tonight. That's why we want to worship God in the beauty of his holiness. That's why we want to say, Father, thank you. Open your mouth and honor him. Open your mouth and give him all the praises tonight. Open your mouth and say, Father, Lord, I worship you. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Are we hearing my voice at all? Yes, sir. I'm hearing you. Yes. Your your voice is very faint. Yes, I'm hearing you. You are very clear. You are clear. Okay. Please help us increase the volume if need be, please. I'm just hearing you faintly. Um, tonight, by the grace of God, as we can see on the platform, we are looking at the topic this day. This day. And we are considering the topic, we are, look, we are looking at our text from 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Uh, let me just quickly read to us. Uh, I've just got to, I will just skim through some things there. I will paraphrase some things there. Let's look at it from verse, um, like verse, verse 44. If you have your Bible there, please open your Bible with me. 1 Samuel chapter 17 from verse 44. The Philistines said to David, here was the Philistine, the champion of, of the Philistine. 
the champion of the Gentile, of that Philistine called Goliath, Goliath, properly known as Goliath. If you look at the description of this man, right from verse 1 to verse 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you will know that this man is stature alone is quite intimidating. His stature alone is very horrible. His stature alone is very horrific. His stature alone is scary. Alone. And look at this. Eh? The Philistines said to David, David looked like, a, I don't know, like an ant in the eyes of this Philistine. And he said, come unto me. I will give your flesh to the best of the air. And the beast of the field. Look at verse 45. Then David sent, then said David to the Philistine, You come to me, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. Look at verse 46 very well. That's where that word this day is coming from. That's where that word. That important word that this day in verse 46, he said, This day, this day, I wanted to mark that word. This day, this day, thank God, today is Sunday, the day of resurrection, the day that Jesus Christ resurrected from the graveyard. It's a day of power, it's a day of victory, it's a day of triumph, it's a day of excellence, it's a day. We shall do Satan under our feet. This day will the Lord deliver thee into my hand. I want to tell you that Goliath that been tormenting your life, that Goliath that been tormenting your family, that Goliath that been terrorizing your wife, that Goliath that been, that been you know that been tormenting your business, that Goliath that been tormenting your health, that Goliath will go down tonight. That every Amen. Goliath you, challenging you, steering you on the face. They will surely go down tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, Goliath was brought down by just one single stone. Remember, David picked five stones. Five is the number. If you look at Jesus, you can count it one, two, three, four, five, five letters. And David used only one. Remember that Goliath equally had four other brothers. And that's why we said Goliath and his brothers. Goliath and his brothers, all of them will go down tonight. Whether Amen. Goliath and his brothers, no matter their stature, no matter how intimidating it may be, no matter how scary their, their stature may be, no matter how horrific and terrific that stature may be, every Goliath challenging our lives, they will go down tonight by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Into my hand. And I will smite thee and take thy head from thee. And I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the earth, unto the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all that everybody will know that there is a God in Israel. Look at verse 47. And all this assembly. All these people here, everyone listening, everyone looking at us, he said, and all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and with spear, for the battle is the Lord, and he will give you into our arm. Tonight, brethren, we are here to pray. We are here to call upon the name of the Lord. And I want to tell you, there are so many Goliath. Physical Goliath is gone. But there are Goliath that are still troubling people today. So many Goliath are confronting the people of God today, Goliath, that G represents greed. Greed in one's life. That is a Goliath that is dominating in the art, in the life of many. Goliath of greed. Goliath of greed. Greed is born out of selfishness. Greed is born out of covetousness. Greed is born out of, you know, self, selfish interests. We want to pray all oh, the Goliath of greed. That is that are confronting us today that are saying no we are not going to enter into our glory 
that are saying that we are not going to enter into the blessings of God that God of heaven has prepared for you and I. All those Goliath, they will go down tonight by the power of the Lord, by the authority of the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, all is representing oppression. Goliath is an oppressor. Look at the way he came out. For 40 days, he was intimidating all the armies of Israel. In fact, the Bible tells us they were greatly afraid. Greatly afraid. Once they see that man coming like this, you know, moving with his stature and everything, all of them will run away. Why? Because he, the man, he was an, an oppressor. The same thing, every Goliath oppressing our family, every Goliath oppressing us in any form, those Goliath, they will go down by fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lawlessness. L is for lost. It is for lukewarmness. Go, that's a Goliath. I'm telling you, losting, lost of the flesh, lost of the eye, lukewarmness, lethargy, you know, all those things, they are Goliath that are terrorizing our life. I wouldn't allow us to be what God wants us to be. But I tell you, all those Goliath tonight by the power of God, by the authority of the name of Jesus, they will go down tonight in Jesus' name. Goliath in form of inordinate ambition. Inordinate ambition, like I mentioned, I, that I represent intimidation. I told you that this Goliath we are talking about is always intimidating all his victims, always intimidating all his op opposition, always intimidating all the challenger. And so we want to pray tonight the God confronting us tonight by the power of the Lord, by reason of the anointing, by the power of resurrection, that Goliath tonight will go down in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We Amen. want to pray. Name of the Lord, brethren, you want to begin to ask God and say, Father, all the Goliath confronting my life, the Goliath, of, you know, the Goliath that is still there, that Goliath representing the Assyrian, that Goliath that association of weaker spirits, that is the ADA association of weaker spirits. The Bible says we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities, against the powers, against the plans of the weakness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in our places. That is association of weaker spirits, association of the powers of darkness intimidating and terrorizing our life. We want to pray. We want to call upon the Lord tonight. Are you there tonight, brethren? Or move yourself, we are praying. We want to call upon God and say, Father, tonight we have come. Oh God, oh Lord, my Father, once again, in your might, in your power, every Goliath today that been intimidating our life before now, let them begin to go down. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I have no short time to lead this prayer. You want to ask God and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, every Goliath of greed, every Goliath of greed, oh God of heaven tonight, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, let every Goliath begin to go down tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Goliath and all his, and all his associates, Goliath and all his brothers, they will go down tonight by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I want to hear us praying, brethren. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord and say, God, every Goliath confronting my life. Goliath of greed, Goliath of oppression, Goliath of lust, Goliath of lethargy. Look, look at your spiritual state. Look at the way the enemy, what the, what the enemy has done. Speak and silently against your spiritual life. It's as if your spiritual life engaged. You want to say, God, all the Goliath of lukewarmness in my life, all the Goliath of lethargy, the Goliath of willingness and weaknesses in my soul. Oh, God, let those Goliath begin to go down now. By the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon God. Let's ask God and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, Lord, arise tonight, oh God, in your power. Oh Lord, to move vengeance, be God, show thyself in the greatness of your power. Show thyself tonight in your mind, oh God. Let every Goliath confronting my soul, every Goliath confronting my life, every Goliath of greed, every Goliath of oppression, every Goliath of lawlessness, 
every yeah. gullet of lust, every gullet of lethargy and lukewarmness and, and dryness and spiritual weaknesses, let them begin to go down tonight in the authority of the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Every Goliath, every Goliath that we go down, let them begin to go down tonight. Let them, let them begin to crumble like a pack of cards. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. I told you, he said, this day. This day, that was the assurance that David had in God. David had that beautiful assurance. He said, this day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand. And that is why we are going to pray tonight. All the, all the activities of the oppressor in our lives, in our ministry, all the activities of the oppressors, in any way we find ourselves, whether in your workplace or anywhere in your family cycle, in the paternal side or the maternal side, all the activities of the oppressors, you want to pray tonight and say, God of heaven, oh God, let those oppressors, let their power be broken into pieces tonight. Let them be, let, 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 let all the power be shattered into pieces by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the, he said, this day, this day the Lord shall deliver thee into my hand. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord and say, Father, every oppression, every oppression of the uh, oppression, oppressing my life in any form, in any way, let those oppressors begin to go down now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, in Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. We are going to pray once again, brethren. The aid that is there is representing afflictions. Affliction. How many of our brethren, how many of our family members, how many of our people are being oppressed? They are under the oppression of the enemy having one particular ailment or sicknesses or affliction in their body, in their lives, and we want to cry to God. That is the Goliath confronting many people. It could be affliction of barrenness. It could be affliction of high blood pressure. It could be affliction of poverty. It could be affliction of one, type, one, 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 one kind of terminal disease. A brother was telling me at Bagada just about two Sundays ago, and the brother told me that we lost one brother like that that he had a brain tumor. And eventually, after all the struggle here and there and everything, eventually the brother died. The enemy has done this. We want to pray tonight. Every affliction of the enemy, that is the Goliath confronting people's lives. Open your mouth and say, God, every affliction in form of sickness, in form of disease, in your life, in your family, let everything begin to dry up now. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. That Goliath of affliction, that Goliath of sicknesses and infirmity, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let that affliction, let that Goliath begin to go down now. Let the fire of God begin to dry everything up now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, affliction in the bone, affliction in the marrows, affliction in the body, Afflictions within the bloodstream, affliction within and without. You want to bless yeah. God by your mighty power. Let those afflictions be, be dry up now. Let them begin to dry up like the, like the Red Sea. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the Lord. By the authority of the name of Jesus, let those afflictions be, let them begin to dry up now. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. I want to hear us pray, brethren. And Open your so mouth and pray. Don't allow it's any Gola to conquer you. Don't allow the enemy, the Gola, to prevail over your soul and your family. Don't allow the Amalekai, that area representing Amalekai. David was not there. The Amalekai invaded Ziklag and they took away their wives and their children and their properties, everything. What, what has the enemy done against your life? That is a Goliath. It has taken away your peace, it has taken away your joy, it has taken away your, your, your heart. 
happiness. It has taken yes. away valuable things out of you. In the days of old, you used to pray very well. The enemy has been invaded your spiritual life. And today, everything looks so cold and lethargic. Why don't you pray say, God, that Goliath confronting my life, Goliath of Amalek, Goliath that is the end, representing that is represent, being represented by the Amalekans. You want to say, God, let those Goliath begin to go down tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I must be liberated tonight. I must be set free tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray tonight, brethren. I think I'm only hearing only one person's voice. The rest, please, let's unmute ourselves so that we can pray together. So that we can pray. It's a very serious matter. It's the hour of prayer. It's the hour of revival. And it's the hour that God wants to do something great in our soul and in our spirit. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to tell the Lord that Goliath, you know, in Bible says, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, he said, associate yourself together, ye people, and ye shall be broken into pieces. That is the association of weaker spirit, association of the principalities and powers, association of the powers yeah. and the and the forces of darkness waging war against our soul, waging war against our workplaces, waging war against your family cycle, waging war against your progress in life. You want to pray and say, God, all the Goliath that are waging war against my life, and they said, I will not enter into my into my promised land. You want to ask Ask God and say, God, let those Goliath and all his brother, let them begin to crumble. Let them begin to crumble by fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and seek the face of God. And say, Father, oh God, every activities of Goliath, tonight in the greatness of your power, in your majesty, in your sovereignty and begin to silence all the oppressors, begin to silence all the association of weaker spirits, all the association of the principalities and powers, forces of darkness, militating against your wife, against your husband, against your children, wherever they may be at this time. You want to ask God and say, God, let those power begin to begin to bow. Because at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. Open your mouth and begin to pray right now brethren open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the lord and say god arise oh god tonight show thyself in the greatness of your power show thy show thyself oh god of heaven let all the goliath and all his brothers let them begin to go down by fire tonight tonight we are burying all the goliath tonight we are burying them tonight we want to bury every one of them all the goliath and all these brothers every one of them all together all those things in our Pressing your life, intimidating and terrifying your life. You want to say, God of heaven, let them begin to bow. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Goliath, that is, if you look at the TDR, the TDR is a representation of troubles of life. Troubles of life. Transgressions. Trauma, we want to pray. Whatever thing that is troubling our lives, I wouldn't allow you to have your peace. That is Goliath. Goliath that is bringing trauma. You cannot sleep in the night. You are always awake. Something is going on against your soul, against your body. That is still representing the torment of the enemy. Torment. The enemy has been tormenting our people. We are going to pray. That thing that is representing Goliath, tormenting your life day and night, either with one particular ailment or sickness or the other, you are going to pray and say, God, that thing that represents Goliath in, in form of torment, let the fire from heaven begin to consume everything tonight. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord. 
Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God of heaven, O oh God, every torment of the enemy, every torment in my soul, every torment in my family, every torment in the life of my wife, my husband, every torment in the life of my children, every torment of the wicked, all the troubles within and troubles without. Oh God of heaven, my father, once again, oh God, let the, let the, let the fire from heaven begin to consume all those torment of the wicked. Oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Don't you know Goliath is a tormentor? Open your mouth. That tormentor must go down tonight. That tormentor must go down tonight. That thing that is tormenting your life and has planted trauma, that has planted troubles in your life, in your body, in your family, in your workplace. You want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, every tormentor must go down tonight by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God of heaven, oh God, Lord, arise tonight in the mighty name name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. The H G uh, dear, that is the last letter of Goliath. I will call that one Herod. I led us in prayer the other time, and I told, showed us what Herod did in Acts chapter 12. He first of all laid his hand upon James, the brother of John. And he beheaded him. He killed him. And he was jubilating, was so happy that he has killed one of the pillars in the household of faith. He proceeded again. He, carried, he, he picked uh, Peter, Simon Peter again. He laid his hand upon, upon, upon Peter. And then he kept him with the four quaternions of soldiers, 16 soldiers guiding only one person. And they put him into the inner prison. Oh, with the mind that after the on leavened bread after the Passover feast, he will kill Peter. But the church suddenly, you know, rose up to the to the challenge and began to pray just as we are praying now. They began to pray. They say, God, arise tonight. You must do something concerning the case of Peter. And of course, God, who is mighty in power, he first of all liberated Peter. He first of all delivered Peter. He sent the angel into the prison. He opened the first prison. He opened the second one, he opened the third one, and then eventually he brought up Peter. Peter was delivered from the hand of the Herod, and eventually Herod was boasting, was still boasting here and there. People were giving shout of praise uh, that the, this one is the voice of the Almighty God. Suddenly, the angel of God smote him. We are going to pray that Goliath that is in form of Herod, representing Herod that is confronting our lives in any form, in any way, whether it is woman, whether it is soul or is spirit, we want to pray tonight. The angel of God will smite them. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I say, God of heaven, whatever thing that is representing that Goliath, symbolic of error, tormenting and terrorizing our life, I wouldn't allow you to enjoy even the fellowship with God. They wouldn't allow you to enjoy the presence of God. They wouldn't allow you to enjoy the revival of the Lord. They wouldn't allow you to enjoy your prayer life. You want to ask God and say, Father God, let this oppressor go down tonight, O oh God. God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Let the mighty power of God begin to bring down the oppressors tonight. That error must be smitten tonight. That error must be conquered tonight. That error must give way tonight. That error must be buried tonight. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever thing that is representing error, confronting your life in form of Goliath, you want to ask God and say, God, let them be buried tonight, O oh God, in the power of the Holy Ghost, in the authority of the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to hand over to Pastor Peter to round up this section of prayer before Pastor Matthew will come up. Please, Pastor Thank Peter, you. you can come up and you can pray. Round up this section of prayer so that Pastor Matthew can take over. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name for yet another wonderful day. We thank you for your hand upon us. 
We thank you for you bestowed your blessings upon us throughout this day to this time. We thank you for your promises on our families. We thank you for your hand on our wives. Thank you for your hand on our children. We thank you for everything you have been doing, O oh Lord. Father, we thank you for the privilege to come before you tonight. And we pray, O oh Lord, that every Goliath that is troubling us, that is warring against us, Father, as we defeated the Goliath at that time, we pray, O oh Lord, that you defeat every one of them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Is it Goliath? Is it Goliath of pain? Is it Goliath of sickness? No matter what form this Goliath is taking, all we know that at the name of Jesus, every name we bow and every tongue we confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. All Goliath that is warring against us, we command this night, bow in Jesus' name. The victory and the, and the cross. Jesus and won the victory and said, it is finished. Everything that you have done in the life of any present year or any any one of us that is not even online tonight, anything that you have done in their life that has caused pain, that has caused uh, sorrow, that has caused regret, we command in the name of Jesus, stop in Jesus' name. Jesus Amen. has paid the name Christ at the cross of Calvary. I said it is finished. Oh Lord in heaven, I thank you for that sacrifice you have paid. And we come in confidence to your throne this night to receive from you any area we any area we are expecting from we pray that you meet us speedily and the point of our needs tonight, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. We thank you for your servant you have made tonight. We pray, O oh Lord, that you refresh him, O oh Lord, and more anointing will be upon him, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. As you continue Amen. to pray, Lord, with us. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayers, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Pastor Matthew, praise, sir. Praise the Lord. Sorry, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord, sir. Hello, sir. Sorry, before you come up, uh, my observation, and I need to express my, um, you know, concern. I don't know the reason why when we are praying, majority of us, the same thing happened on Thursday. If we are not in a place where, where there is disturbance, I don't see any reason why we cannot unmute ourselves. And we say we are praying. Except, except we are in a very tight corner where it is seemingly difficult. I mean, it's not, it means that we are not in agreement. Please, uh, to me, I don't, uh, it's not, it doesn't go down with, well with me at all as regards this kind of attitude. And we need to make a change, positive change, please. Except we, can, we are saying that maybe we are so much engrossed with some things that we are doing. Without that, please, the hour of prayer, let's set it aside to pray. Sometimes, like on Thursday, I was only hearing my own voice. Everybody, virtually everybody, of just, just mute themselves. It's not a good one. And we have said it over and over. And prayer will be going on. Maybe some other persons are even doing some other things at that time. And prayer is going on. And we are praying. Is that how we how revival will take place? Please let us look at this thing very critically so that we can do something that will bring glory and honor to God. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I want to bring a little low stress to the post pastor. I don't know how I want to say it. Uh, that people will not misquote me. Uh, deeper life too, we are praying. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will continue to pray in Jesus' name. Maybe Amen. Later, I'm very sorry to say what I want to say. I, 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 will, I will compensate it. And this is what I will say. I remember I went for a revival, and then when I was there, the pastor was introducing that uh, don't mingle with unbeliever. And I said, hey, even if you want to become like a deeper life, that they don't shake, you know, all, all during those period of time. People have all good so they always go lonely. <laughs> so, so even shake people. 
Things are changing now. So, I want to say what we are praying is if we can pray like CSP. <laughs> I'm very sorry to say this. People like to pray with, pray loudly. <laughs> I don't know if the pastor should know what I'm saying. <laughs> so if we can pray like this, that everybody will hear that you are praying. So God will help us in Jesus' name. So, uh, and the grace of the Lord will continue to be with us in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, pastor Amen. Femi just posted something. Uh, I don't know if uh, if anybody can read it for me online because I'm, I'm with something else. And I don't want to miss what I'm with. <laughs> Just posted something. I'm seeing it briefly as I was posting the publicity to other people. Uh, I saw it just it came up briefly, and I saw his name. Uh, Pastor Femi is online. Pastor Femi is online. You go ahead and read it. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Good evening, lady. Actually, I could have joined you. I, my data finished. I have to beg someone to send one thousand naira data to me so I can join the prayer. I'm very sorry to come late. My act of my grandmother gave back to five. Three three have gone. It's me, my father, and a younger one. The one that followed my father, she was very last month. The last one now they call me this evening. And that's after it that she's in a coma. In Ogun State, in Abeku, in E40. And I asked the boy that what's the condition now? She said, Ah, Auntie Tilo, that this your aunt has gone, that she's just living by life support. That, and I, I said, I don't believe doctor report, I believe God's report. That's why I quickly send the request tonight. So she's in life support, living by oxygen now. Mm-hmm. Along that, if for some going for sight. Um, Thank you, sir. This war. This war. This war. This war in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, I've seen an issue whereby, because I'm not prophet, I'm not a prophet by the grace of the Lord, but I'm a man of faith. I'm seeing an issue by um, in New Jersey. A boy was called, and immediately he was called. Uh, they said the, his father wanted to about to uh, give up. I mean, he died, and then the boy said, "No, it's not possible. I'm going to see him before he died." And before that, got longer. Added, I don't know, maybe a year or months to the life of the father. Because the boss said, I want to see him before he died. And then longer the guy will be on the father. Uh, life and death is in the hand of the Lord. Uh, we want to ask Pastor Femi, uh, what do you want on this issue? I want God to restore her back, even though she's in life support for the past three days. She cannot raise her hand, cannot talk. I want God. To do what the doctor says is not possible. It's possible inside of God. So we agree on that. As far as your will, and that is your will. Uh, let us call upon the name of the Lord. Let's glorify you. Everyone will come before you. And the life and death the hand of the Lord. We pray for and that. Open and close. Our brother, we give him the life support of past three days. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We want you, oh Lord, for the, for the life of all what you have done, the life of the people, woman, right now, Father, in, 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 in the life of this Jesus. family in oh general. Lord, in your words. Let's praise him and glorify him. On the God. life of this woman, our mother, let's praise him and glorify him. Let's not call upon the name of the Lord. Let's thank him. Oh Lord, that you are with God, that woman, that woman, that Jesus name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. In God's name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are now going to the real uh, battle. When I'm, it's not a battle. Everything belongs unto God. Praise and give. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. But because of the fish, it's strong. That I want the life support to be removed. Uh, I want her to live. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. That either he does it, the woman belongs to her. Either he does not do it, the woman belongs to her. But because of the request of his son, we want him to, we want him to reverse whatsoever that be the target of the death on this particular mother. For this particular time, that by the power of the for your name to be honored, for your name to be honored, for your name to be honored. Either we honor your name in the 